Okay, this is going to be the level one tutorial. So let's go ahead and start level one. Now, we have zero coefficients here. That's zero times these. So first thing we need to do is set everything to one because we need to put all these atoms into the equation. If we have a zero in front of any of these, like this, that means we have no nitrogen. But well, we need nitrogen because we have nitrogen over here. So we set them all to one first. That's your starting point. Now, we look for the least common element. In this case, there's only one nitrogen and three hydrogens. So we're going to start with nitrogen. Now, we have one nitrogen here and two nitrogens over here. So we need to increase the number of nitrogens on this side of the equation. So if we take it up, now we have two nitrogens, two nitrogens. But we have six hydrogen over here. Two times three makes six. So over here we only have two, and we do them in groups of two. So if we take this up to a three, three times two is six, and we now have six, six, two, and two. It should balance, and it does. So let's get the next one. First thing we need to do is go through and set them all the ones. Now. We have just one hydrogen and one chlorine. There's the hydrogen, there's the chlorine. Over here we have two hydrogens and two chlorine. Well, if we take this one up to two, we now have two hydrogens and two chlorines. Same as we have over here, it should balance. And it does. And let's go on. Okay, set them all to one. It's always the first step. Put all our atoms in here. Now, let's look at what we got here. We got one carbon and one oxygen and then four hydrogens. Over here we got one carbon and one oxygen but only two hydrogen. Only groups of two. How many do you think we should add? There we go. Now we have four. So now we have four and four. One and one. One and one. It should balance. Okay, let's set them to one. Now, let's look and see what we got here. We got one carbon, one oxygen, and we got four hydrogens. Over here we have one carbon, one oxygen, oh, and four hydrogens. Well, that one's pretty simple. Now, set them to one. Okay, over here we got four phosphorus and two hydrogens. Over here we have only one phosphorus and three hydrogens. Well we need to get four hydro four phosphorus over here so let's take this up to four phosphorus. Okay now we got three, six, nine, twelve or four times three is twelve hydrogens. Over here we only have two in groups of two. What multiplier do we need? How about six? Because six times two is twelve. Same as over here. And we're done. <laughs>